Secrets Beneath the Crimson Leaves The forest was a place of hidden wonders, where ancient trees whispered tales of forgotten times, and the ground was carpeted with crimson leaves that rustled secrets to those who dared to listen. Amelia was one such listener. She had always felt drawn to the forest, an inexplicable connection that tugged at her heart like an old friend calling her name. Her curiosity was insatiable, and she often spent her free hours wandering among the towering trees and the thick underbrush. One crisp autumn morning, as the first rays of sunlight pierced the canopy, Amelia set out on a new adventure. Armed with a tattered map she had discovered in the attic of her family's old farmhouse, she believed she was on the brink of uncovering a long-forgotten treasure. The map led her deep into the heart of the forest, where the trees grew so close together that the path ahead seemed to vanish into an emerald abyss. As she followed the winding trail, the rustle of leaves beneath her boots and the songs of birds above were her only companions. Hours passed, and the forest grew denser. But Amelia pressed on, fueled by an inner fire that whispered of secrets waiting to be unveiled. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, she arrived at a clearing unlike any she had seen before. The trees here were older, their gnarled branches reaching for the sky, and the carpet of crimson leaves seemed to hold the memories of centuries. At the center of the clearing stood an ancient oak tree, its trunk wide enough to hide a family of explorers. Amelia approached the tree with cautious reverence, her hands tracing the rough bark. As she did, she noticed a small crevice in the trunk, so well hidden that only the most observant eyes would discover it. Her heart raced as she reached into the crevice and pulled out a tattered journal. The journal was filled with cryptic notes, sketches of strange creatures, and intricate maps leading to uncharted territories. It was the diary of an adventurer who had once roamed these very woods, and had held the key to a treasure beyond imagination. Amelia pored over the journal's pages, deciphering the clues left behind by the long-lost explorer. Each entry unveiled a new mystery, and with each mystery, she felt the forest whispering its approval. Days turned into weeks and Amelia followed the journal's trail deeper into the heart of the forest. She encountered obstacles, treacherous ravines, ancient traps, and elusive creatures, but her determination never wavered. The forest had become her home, its rhythms her heartbeat. Finally, she arrived at the foot of an enormous waterfall, its thundering cascade echoing through the trees. The journal hinted that behind this waterfall lay the greatest secret of all, the treasure that countless adventurers had sought but never found. With trembling hands, Amelia braved the icy waters and ventured behind the waterfall's curtain. There, hidden within a hollow, she found a chest adorned with intricate carvings. With bated breath, she opened it revealing a dazzling array of gems, artifacts, and a note that read, The true treasure is the journey itself. Amelia understood the message in an instant. The forest had not only yielded its secrets, but had also revealed the depths of her own resilience and spirit. The journey had been her greatest reward, and the treasure chest, a reminder that life's greatest treasures are often found in the pursuit of our passions and the pursuit of our own true selves. With the weight of the treasure chest in her heart rather than her hands, Amelia returned to her family's farmhouse.
she had found what she sought, not in the glittering gems, but in the quiet wisdom of the forest and the courage she had discovered within herself. As the years passed, she continued to visit the crimson-leaved forest, sharing its stories and secrets with others who, like her, were drawn to its enchanting embrace. And in those whispered tales and rustling leaves, they found their own journeys, their own treasures, and the crimson secrets that connected them all. The Puzzle Maker's Mysterious Legacy in the heart of an old, bustling city stood a peculiar shop known as Eldridge's Enigmas. Its faded sign swung gently in the breeze, announcing the establishment's specialty, puzzles of all kinds, from intricate jigsaw puzzles to cryptic riddles. But what truly set Eldridge's apart was the enigma that surrounded its reclusive owner, Edgar Eldridge a puzzle-maker of legendary renown. Edgar was a man of few words, rarely seen outside his shop, and his deep-set eyes held secrets that no one could fathom. The city had grown accustomed to his eccentricities and the occasional, cryptic puzzle that would appear in the local newspaper, leading to a grand prize hidden somewhere within the city limits. These contests became legendary, and the winners, the stuff of urban folklore. One crisp autumn morning, a letter arrived at the doorstep of Emily Weston, a young woman who had recently moved to the city. It contained an ornate puzzle piece, intricately carved, and a message, solve the puzzle to embark on a journey that will reveal the puzzle maker's mysterious legacy. Intrigued, Emily began to work on the puzzle. Its pieces interlocked with a satisfying click, forming a complex image of a city skyline. Yet, there was something more, a hidden compartment within the puzzle piece. She opened it to find a cryptic note and a small brass key. The note was riddled with riddles, each leading to a location in the city. Emily's curiosity got the better of her, and she decided to follow the clues. Over the course of weeks, she unraveled mysteries hidden in plain sight, delving deep into the city's history and lore. The journey took her to forgotten libraries, ancient parks, and even an underground speakeasy with tales of the Prohibition era. At each location, she discovered another puzzle piece, carved with precision, and a new riddle to solve. As Emily progressed, she couldn't help but wonder about the enigmatic Edgar Eldridge, the man behind it all. What drove him to create these elaborate quests that challenged and captivated the city's inhabitants? Finally, after months of searching, Emily had gathered all the puzzle pieces and solved the riddles. She found herself standing before Eldridge's enigmas, where Edgar himself awaited her arrival. With a knowing smile, he welcomed her into his shop, revealing the true puzzle that had been unfolding all along, the puzzle of self-discovery and connection. He explained that the puzzles were his way of weaving the tapestry of the city's stories, of drawing people together in a shared adventure. Emily had not only unraveled the mystery of the puzzle maker, but also discovered a deeper connection to the city and its inhabitants. In that moment, she realized that the true legacy of Edgar Eldridge was the community he had nurtured through his enigmatic puzzles. As Emily left Eldridge's enigmas that day, she knew that the puzzle maker's mysterious legacy was not just a series of riddles and prizes, it was a testament to the power of curiosity, connection, and the shared journey of discovery.
And so, the legend of Edgar Elderidge and his enigmatic puzzles continued, captivating the city and its newcomers, reminding them that sometimes, the greatest mysteries are the ones that bring us together.